Um, <laughs> firstly, before I answer that question, I firstly want to thank uh, Jacques and VJ for the kind words um, earlier. I, I think that both VJ and um, Jacques are being very modest because in my view, and with my international experience on uh, big, spectacular major events <coughs> worldwide, uh, this is certainly the largest one-day spectacular uh, event, sporting event, in the Southern Hemisphere. And in my view, rates in the top 10 worldwide um, one-day uh, spectacular events. What for me is always welcome, um, being responsible and assisting with the risk arrangements for these events, um, is the commitment that's been shown in terms of my involvement with this event over the last few years by the South African breweries and by, um, obviously, their brand, uh, Carling Black Label, and Stadium Management South Africa towards public safety. Often in these big events, public safety is something that uh, takes a back seat, and, and it's a sad thing for me to tell you, but certainly not with this particular event. Um, the Drink and Drive Responsibly campaign of SA breweries is also welcome for drivers as well as pedestrians. Um, given the fact that liquor is obviously available, uh, we have large numbers of spectators who come up, who have been warming up sometimes in the Shabins, and certainly that campaign that they've been running at great cost is something that assists the overall safety and security uh, program. Jacques has already uh, covered the type of uh, manpower that we, um, and human resourcing that we will have here for this event, but it certainly exceeds, for instance, from a private security perspective, um, by 50%, the normal ratios that you would have of security um, at an event um, uh, of, of this nature. Um, the come early uh, call, and I'm going to, sorry to bore you with this, for us, it's sing the singular biggest risk for us on match day is the fact that spectators ca can come late. And if you look at the investment that's been made by the South African breweries and Stadium Management South Africa to get people here early, the entertainment, VJ forgot about the fact that they were generously giving about 15 to 20 um, uh, cash vouchers, significant cash vouchers to people that are in the stadium by 13.30 or half past one on Saturday that will be singled out for people who took the trouble to come early. Uh, it is just before the August elections. Security will be tight. There will be searching of spectators, going to your question finally. Um, and uh, prohibited items, please don't bring your liquor. There is beer available inside the stadium. It's an issue that we have often uh, every year. Uh, please leave your uh, weapons, your dangerous objects, you know what it is. I don't have to bore you with it. Leave your offensive banners at home. Come and have fun, though. That's the whole message. A people-friendly, fun, but secure event. And from that perspective, with 134-page st strategic plan, event-specific, it's unmatched in terms of the planning and the documentation for this event. But, of course, it's to put it into operation. And, again, I I'd also like to thank the service providers, the city of Johannesburg, Gauteng uh, traffic, the South African police service in their absence from the state here today, uh, all the private security companies, they are absolutely committed to this event, as I am, as the South African brewery, stadium management South Africa is, and everyone around here that's been busy preparing for this event for the last four months. Anyway, so uh, Viva Carling Black Label, 